What's going on guys, Toogie here, back again with some more NHL 16. Now this is going to be, hopefully, a quick video in response to my rant video I put out a couple of days ago. Now unfortunately, as I mentioned in that video, I did lose some game footage, and I felt like that game footage was really important to that video to help establish the points I was trying to make. And while I still don't have that game footage, I have recorded some other footage, and while it's not exactly th the specific plays I was trying to show off, they are some plays that a lot of you will recognize. But I've also mixed in some clips, you know, that show off the decent side of this game where appropriate positioning pays off just to get a proper counterbalance. As I said in that ramp video, the game is not all bad. It does pay off as it should every once in a while. But then as you'll see in this video again, as I was hoping to show in the original ramp video, there are some plays that happen where it's just... It's, it, it's absolutely infuriating. That's the only way to put it. It's absolutely infuriating and in some cases blatantly unfair, but we will go through this clip by clip. Now starting off here guys, we have a clip all of you will recognize, and while it's not the most egregious, it is still a problem in this game, and that is the classic half trip. As you see, the footage here clearly tripped, but no penalty call. How that's still in the game, I have no idea. Clip number two, and again, not the most egregious, you know, problem with the game, but as you can see, I'd like to think that I had proper positioning in this situation. Two appropriate poke checks. He does lose the puck twice, but still maintains possession overall, and they get a decent chance out of it as he wraps it around the back of the net. Clip number three, and now this is something every defenseman will recognize, and it's just so much fun. As you read the play appropriately, he cuts into the middle, you break it up only for him to get it back, and he gets another excellent shooting chance. Now, as you'll see, I don't know, I'd like to think I played this puck pretty well. Could I have played it a little bit better? Yeah, probably. But for the puck to just die the second you poke check it, and for him to get it right back, a frustrating moment that every defenseman will recognize as the game essentially breaks its own physics to get him another chance. Next up, here we actually have a decent example of the game working properly. I read the play, make the proper adjustment, step into the passing lane, and actually get rewarded for it. Again, this game's not all bad. My guy settles it down smoothly and makes a nice little breakout pass. This next clip, I wasn't actually sure whether to include it or not. Now, while I wasn't in the best of position, it does certainly appear as though the puck just missed the blade of my stick. I don't know, let me know how you guys feel about this clip, but it's it's a 50-50 play that didn't go my way, at the very least. Here we have another classic play as the puck magically dies, loses all of its forward momentum, and essentially breaks the laws of physics as my team center breaks up the play only for them to regain possession when really they absolutely shouldn't have. That puck should not have bounced or stopped in that manner. But again, we have another example of this game working properly, a simple pass up the boards that is easily intercepted, as it very well should be. But as we'll see potentially later, that's not always the case. But again, for the sake of being fair and appropriately representing what this game does, another simple play along the sideboards where my guy is actually looking at the puck, easily intercepts it, and we get an offensive chance because of a bad pass. And really, to drive home the point that I'm trying to be fair and this game's not all bad, another smooth play just as it should have been handled as he steps across the line, simple stick lift, take it away, we're good to go. I'm, I'm really trying to be fair and just drive home the point that this game doesn't always screw me or screw people out of games. But here we have another nice example of someone getting hit. The puck magically does not maintain its proper momentum and sits there for the guy to be able to pick it right back up and get a nice offensive chance. Thankfully, the cross crease pass missed. And again, more of the same as a cross crease pass is read perfectly, only to be broken up, lose all of its forward momentum as if it hit a brick wall. But even if it hit a brick wall, it's a rubber puck, it's going to bounce. Regardless, they get another offensive chance. Now here's one of my favorite plays of this video. Is it realistic? Yes, in a way. Is it frustrating? Certainly. Especially when players can bat down pucks out of midair. And for you to, have to <laughs> and you know what, I'm not even adding this, for a defenseman to sit here and have to watch a bouncing puck just simply bounce right over his tape is beyond frustrating. 
this next play has actually no relevance to this video or the point I'm trying to make. It was just a nice little play using the puck chop effectively to get the puck over to the defender and we get a nice decent offensive chance. Now this next play was probably the reason for me making this video is as you can see it's late in the game and this actually ended up being a game winning goal for the other team. And again, penalty calls are something I really didn't touch upon in this video. But how this is not a boarding call, if anyone in the comments down below wants to explain to me how that is not a boarding call or a charging call, feel free, but it'll take quite a bit of convincing. Now again, this next clip has absolutely no relevance to the video, except for the fact that this is essentially the one place where EA's crazy system can't really screw with you. I promise you, learn how to fight, get good at this fighting engine, and you'll actually have fun with this game because the likelihood of this game, the likely, the only way you can not have fun in a fight is if you get one punched or if you get the hell beat out of you like this guy. Learn how to fight because EA's crazy momentum system, EA's crazy balance system can affect you and you can essentially do this to someone and just beat the hell out of them. And our last clip here is another one of those plays that everyone has seen. Whether or not I'm being biased or not, I don't know, but to me, what I see here is the puck magically getting past three people, our center, Teal, and a computer defender who could have possibly intercepted it. Again, am I being biased? I'm not sure. I'll leave that up to you guys in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this play in particular. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. And again, this video isn't exactly what I wanted it to be. It doesn't exactly appropriately represent what I wanted the original rant video to be. But I'm sure a lot of you guys will recognize certain plays that occurred in this video, good and bad, as I'm sure you have seen these plays over and over again, much like myself. At the end of the day, this only reaffirms that again, much like hockey, this game is all about luck. Skill is a very small part of it. The only thing you can really do is be in proper position and just pray. Just pray it gives you the bounce you want and the bounce you and your team need at that moment. I want to thank you all for watching again. I will continue to bring you Pro Clubs footage along the way, more likely in clip form like this. It's simply easier. And in this specific style, if certain plays do happen that I really want to take a closer look at, and then hopefully get proper feedback from you guys. I want to know what you guys think. And even on this video, let me know down below. Am I being, you know, just, am I being overly biased? Am I being too overly critical of this game? But again, it's something that affects all of us. I certainly know my team's not the only one that have had no calls go against, you know, that have had boarding calls, that have, you know, had tripping calls, high stickings that magically don't get called only for the other team to immediately benefit. But I will save the rest of my thoughts for a later day. Leave a like down below if you guys have enjoyed, and I will catch you all next time.